Night Farm, let me start this video with a quick test. If I show you these faces, I'm pretty sure you know them. We have Gates, Bezos, Musk and Warren Buffett, some of the richest men in the world. Now, here is your golden question. Who is the richest woman in the world? Hmm, you do not know, do you? Because we rarely get to hear about wealthy women in power. And that is why today you are about to meet the world's youngest self-made woman billionaire. And before you even think of it, no, she did not inherit her wealth from a family business. No, she did not get rich because of who she married. This is the surprising story of Bumble CEO Whitney Wolf Head. It all started when Whitney co-founded the popular dating app Tinder. She actually used to work on her current rival. She helped grow Tinder with clever marketing and reportedly even came up with its name. But despite boosting Tinder's early success, Whitney was forced to leave. She accused two of her male co-founders of harassing her and if that wasn't enough, they even removed her co-founder title. And so, at the age of 24, Whitney faced a real deal struggle. When the media painted me as this, you know, kind of gone girl of Silicon Valley, it was devastating. I would open Twitter and I would have anything ranging from death threats to the most aggressive, nasty words, and I took them as gospel. Drowning in all the insults thrown at her, she shut herself from the outside world. But it was also during this dark time that she suddenly found an answer. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, these were not spaces built by women. And I hated the way I was treated online and it scared me. Mm -hmm. And instead of letting that, you know, bury me, I decided to, you know, go out and build the solution. And that is how the billion dollar idea was born. A dating app where women are encouraged to make the first move. How many of you have agonized over, should I text him? No, no, you can't. You have to wait two days or three days. If I want to make the first move, if I want to go after what I want in my life, I should be able to do that without shame, guilt, or blame. Having suffered the worst inside the tech world, Whitney strived to create a safe virtual dating space that benefits all genders. They made sure the app blocks rude interactions so potentially abusive relationships can no longer prosper. And through new features, it empowered female users to also take the lead in making new friends and expanding their careers. In fact, over 80% of the company's employees are women. And as millions and millions of people swiped away on Bumble, Whitney made a big move that put her on top of the world. She took the company public in the US and became the youngest female CEO to ever do so. In a yellow power suit with a baby on her hip, Whitney Wolfherd joins a small group of self-made female billionaires. Fast forward to today, Bumble has grown to 100 million global users. And Whitney, well, she is 31 years old and she is the world's youngest self-made woman billionaire. When I was growing up, my grandma was like, are you dating a nice lawyer or a doctor or a CEO? And I was like, grandma, no, I'm going to be a CEO. You Source don't have a little bit of residue of anything against Tinder? Nothing? Mm, no, I actually don't think about Tinder. <laughs> Right now, in a world where a vast majority of rich people are men, Whitney Wolf Heard is proof that women with a noble cause can do incredible things when they turn their pain into power. If people are telling you that they don't believe in what you're doing, it means you're doing something out of their comfort zone. I want to go to every corner of the earth where women are and make sure that that every single woman on this planet knows that they should make the first move. It's okay to make the first move and they are equal and they should be empowered.